Hello guys, what's good? I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a video reacting to, to some of your guys' icks and unpopular opinions, which is my eyelash falling off. You guys give me some of your icks and unpopular opinions on my Instagram story and if you're not following me yet, what are you waiting for? Um, so I'll basically get straight on with it and um, I've had a quick flick through and wow, some of you guys are actually quite funny. I'll give it to you, you're actually quite funny. Or maybe it's just the experiences that you've had in life are quite funny but yeah. So the first one is getting your girlfriend to pay for everything. That is an ick, in my opinion. Like, I don't, I don't think one partner should ever have to pay for everything. And if they are, then it's not much of an equal relationship. And yeah, not the self. Um, this one really made me laugh when your girl puts you in a headlock and you can't get out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had images flashing through my head of this happening and <laughs> when they go to open a push door, but pull instead. <laughs> um, I, I won't say that's a nick for me, but, but it's, it's quite humorous, but let's be honest, it happens to the best of us. Um, Arrogance, definitely, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, there's been like a little bit big headed and then there's just not, not caring about anybody's feelings, which is a little bit like, mm, are you a nice person? Are you a nice person? Boys that show off to impress their mates. I get why you're saying it's a nick, not gonna lie. And also, in my opinion, people who try show off in front of your mates like your own mates like they try to impress your girl mates and you're just like are you okay I don't, I don't know if that's just me like i don't know just like why are you trying so hard like trying too hard is a little bit too much just be yourself um when they send a message in the group chat but get aired Dropping money down the car seat side. Now this one really made me laugh because I don't know how it's her ick. Like, how is it your ick? That's so funny. Um, oh God. <laughs> now every single time I do it on somebody else does it, I'm just gonna be like, did you just drop money down the side of my car seat? Ew. Um, running after a ping pong ball. That is quite funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> when you're walking and their shoes are squeaking. <laughs> no, I, yeah, if if you was on like, not if you've been with them a while, I guess, but if you was on like a first date with somebody and their shoes was constantly squeaking, wow, that, that would be like, sort them out, please. <laughs> Being ignored for football. <clears throat> that just touched a nerve. Getting the song lyrics wrong when singing with confidence. <laughs> oh. oh gosh, that happens to Shannon way too many times than I care to admit. She loves doing it. It's like she does it she does it just to annoy me now. It's like a bit of fun for her. Well, this lockdown is playing games, watching them run. I don't know why, but if you've only just started speaking to someone, then I can actually get why that would be a bit of an ick. Like, I don't know. I can just imagine someone now, yeah, like running after, um, running after like a napkin that blew away or something. That would just be too funny. And um, people who chew loud, yes, a hundred percent. I cannot stress enough. Oh. oh, it's not even an ick for me. Like it's re it's really, really like 
agitates me. Like, if someone is chewing loud in the staff room at work, and my colleagues will know this, I do it all the time, I will come off my break early and go back to work. Because I can't, I cannot sit there when someone is chewing like that. I just can't do it. Like, I'll end up saying something, and that's not the best scenario to be in. So I'd rather just take myself away from the situation. Because, in my opinion, it's being ill-mannered. Like, it's quite rude to chew loud. And why would you want to be ill-mannered? Ask yourself that question if you chew loud. Um, not getting my way love that love that for me <laughs> smelly breath from a partner see this is quite funny because i always tell shannon to stay away from me in the morning until i brush my teeth like because i know she'd probably be thinking your breath smells and i wouldn't want her to think that even though she won't be rude and say it to me it's just not a situation i want either of us to be in so i'd rather stay away from your morning breath and you can stay away from my morning breath until we you know get ready and go about the day this is quite funny because I feel like my friend who put this, like someone's really pissed, really pissed her off this day because she says, when someone eats your food that you've been thinking about all day, I feel like that just wasn't a nick that she thought of. That that literally happened that day and she was, she was venting. Her boyfriend definitely ate her food that day, 100%. And I can feel the anger and do you know what? I'm, I'm not even surprised. It would really piss me off too. This one was funny. If they start jumping up and down like a pencil when they're trying to dance. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also got flooded with images from this one too. And yeah, I can imagine that. Oh, that's... Um... <laughs> Picking their nose. I get why this is most people's ick, but I don't, I sort of think it's a bit natural, so it doesn't actually bother me that much. I don't know why, like, if you just like, I don't know, like, obviously if they wipe it on the jeans and go about the day, then yes, that is an issue, but just getting rid of like a, something that's bothering them doesn't really bother me. Um. People showing off in front of friends, obviously that was already said. Being too full on, yes. You don't want the clingy straight away, do you? If at all, to be honest, at our age, like, just be an adult, keep your distance. Bring it in slowly over time. Yeah. Dirty socks, dirty shoes nail biting i bite my nails it's a bad habit i know and i wish i knew what that said but i don't so moving on to your guys' unpopular opinions there wasn't as many as this as many of these i did found some some of them quite interesting like more interesting than the x to be honest so two people straight away within like the first five minutes of me putting it up two people answered that pineapple on pizza is a godsend i personally wouldn't go as far to say it's a godsend like i don't really really enjoy it but and to be fair i wouldn't really order it for myself there's not like being an occasion where i thought Do you know what yeah i want that but if I was like at a family party and it was the only pizza that was left then I would have it and I'd be like I'd be satisfied enough with it like I won't completely say no piss off I am not eating that and I won't be like oh fucking buzzing I have not had that in ages but I'd just be like okay with it um apple music is shit First of all, what? I favour Apple Music over Spotify and I know that is not a popular opinion. I love Apple Music compared to Spotify and I know that Spotify like puts you together your own playlists and stuff, which is nice. 
if you want it to do that. See, I would rather just listen to my own songs that I know I like instead of being given a playlist that I could like and I maybe hate. So it's just like wasted my time. I'd rather just know what I'm going to listen to and want to listen to it. So I love Apple Music. So I'm fuming about that. Mm -hmm. Ellie, I'm looking at you. Um, sex isn't a big deal. I feel like that used to be an unpopular opinion, but these days it probably is a quite a popular opinion. I agree. It's not that big of a big deal. And I don't think people should be worried about it or worried about speaking about it or doing it for the first time. Because once it's out of the way, it's real like, wow, what did I overthink? Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, I love this one. <laughs> I would go to Dubai like all the influencers. I guess everyone has different opinions and so many people are writing articles about this at the moment. But I feel like it's, it's just the media wanting people's attention for their articles and to make money off of the articles rather than the media actually being mad about the influencers going on holiday because if I could go on holiday at the moment and know that when I that like obviously because they can probably afford to isolate for two weeks when they come home and so that's what happens like the rule is if you come back you have to isolate for two weeks and if they wasn't allowed to go on holiday then there wouldn't be a plane for Dubai for them to get on and because they can afford to come back and isolate because their job is technically most of the time at home I would do it too if I could afford it if if we wasn't allowed to leave the country at all under no circumstances there would be no planes for you to book and that's my opinion and to be honest I probably don't think it's an unpopular opinion I think most people probably actually agree but I just think they've people are not airing that opinion because ideally you're not meant to go be, be going anywhere but they can afford it and if I could wow I would love to go on holiday right now though I wouldn't go to Dubai I would go somewhere else but on holiday I would go um, another one is people's opinions do matter That is definitely an unpopular opinion and I don't think it's a good way to think because then you're just going to get like bogged down in what people always think of you and I don't think I don't think you're ever gonna be truly happy maybe so that definitely is an unpopular opinion it's quite shocked me to be fair because I don't think opinions matter apart from my own and possibly my family sometimes, but even then, like, it's your life. So, yeah. Um, super dry is fashionable. I'll let you guys make your own minds up about that. I don't think everything is. Um, but there's actually some good, good buys in there. Like, if you actually open your eyes, there's a few nice bits that you can really pair well with things um so don't rule anything out because there's always something you will like in probably every shop even though it's old and even though mainly old men go to shop there doesn't mean that sometimes they do nice bits staying in is better than going out I don't know if I agree. I can never ever make my mind up on this this subject because we've not been out for so long. So I sort of feel like I really want to go out, but then when we was allowed out, I would stay in more than go out. But now I don't know if this whole lockdown year will have completely changed my mindset and whether I'm going to want to go out with my friends a lot more. We'll have to see. Cookies better than Dr Pepper. Is that an unpopular opinion? I don't know, you know. Hollyoaks over EastEnders. 
I cannot give my opinion because I watch neither. And lastly, coleslaw on pizza. What went through your mind to just try that one day? Like, it might be nice, but I would never think, you know what? Whack that on there. That is just so random. So yes, they are all the responses. I did let the people know on Instagram that I will be making a video about this. So if you are one of them people who wanted to see all of the icks and responses that I got, thank you so much for coming and watching. Please subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye.